In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to give you 15 SaaS ideas that you can build completely by yourself without any previous technical experience by using the power of no-code tools. So you can become like one of these people who are generating hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenue or have raised millions of dollars in capital. For each one of these ideas, I'm gonna also share how you can monetize them and the no-code tools that you can use to build them out from scratch. So let's jump right into it. If you've got any kind of allergies or dietary restrictions, it could be super difficult to order food online, as most restaurants don't cater to that or they don't follow your instructions when you leave it on the order. And this affects a lot of people. So you can build a niche specific food ordering app that combines all of the restaurants in a specific category to help people with dietary restrictions order food. So for example, you can build out an app for gluten-free people or vegan food or halal food. To monetize this app, you could take a cut from every single delivery fee or you could charge restaurants commissions for each order you could also form exclusive partnerships with specific restaurants or specific restaurant chains and you can also have memberships options for people who order quite a lot to build this out i would recommend using a front end builder like flutterflow or DraftBid. you could use firebase for backend and superbase for automations Next up, we've got job boards. This one is honestly a no-brainer as it's super easy to build with no code. You can specifically focus on your local area. So if your country where you're living in doesn't have a job board for a specific job that's in high demand, you'd know that there's an opportunity there. It'd be super easy to build out something with no code where different companies can sign up, list their jobs, and then people can send over their resumes and then the employers can pick from those resumes and hire the employees. To keep it simple, you could start off with just a few jobs or you can focus on a specific niche. For example, graphic designers or digital security professionals the options are kind of endless but honestly if you're good at marketing there is even opportunity for this in the international market because if there's ever a trend shift and you see new jobs that will be in a lot of demand but not many people know about it yet you can jump in early and build a platform revolving around for example when chat gpt came out there was suddenly so many new jobs that revolved around ai so you could have been one of the first people who built a job board specifically for hiring ai professionals there's many different ways you could monetize this First, you could be charging a fixed fee for employees to put up a job. Then you could have a subscription fee for the employees to put up a certain amount of jobs per month. Or you could have a fee where employees could pay and get access to an entire database of resumes so that they don't have to put a job. They can go through the resumes, filter by them, and then send out their applications. For this idea, you could build something very simple, the software in Airtable. Or if you want to build something a bit more complex and with a lot more functionality, you could use Bubble, WeWeb or Plasmic for the front end and Xano for the back end. An example of such platform would be GoodGigs, which is a job board specifically made for mission-driven companies. And another example could be Flexible, who focuses specifically on the tech sector. Next up, we've got Freelancer Marketplace. This one is a bit similar to a job board, but rather our focus will be more on freelancers. You could build out a web app where clients can post projects and freelancers can bid or accept those projects. You'll also have freelancer profile pages where they can demonstrate their skill set, their previous experience and have a review rating. To monetize this, you could charge a commission fee either on client side or freelancer side from each one of the projects that go through the platform. You could also once again charge for job postings in additional services like boosting profiles or boosting the jobs job listings to be higher up on the list to build this you can once again use bubble and vweb for front end and then zano for the back end an example for a platform in this niche will be comet which is a french startup built with no code that went on to raise millions of dollars Next up, we've got Niche House Rental. This one could work really well in busy tourist destinations. The idea would be to build an Airbnb-like app, but instead of competing with them head-on, you could build a whole app revolving around a specific housing niche. For example, you could build a platform in Thailand specifically for glamping, which is a combination of camping and like luxury accommodation. Another example could be a platform for specifically farm or cottage housing. To monetize this, you could charge a fee for property owners, you could take commission from each booking, you could offer premium listing options, you could offer ancillary services like property management, insurance, etc. Or you could have a one-off fee to use your platform. A successful example for this that was built at no code is Circle Home. And I actually have a video on the channel where I went over how they went on to get 60,000 users with zero marketing spend. So you can click the link in the description to check out this video after this one if you want to find out more details. To build out this platform, I would once again use WeWeb or Bubble for the front end and Zano for the back end. 
Next up, we've got custom meal plan app. Everybody wants to be healthy and fit, but no one has the time to spend planning their meals and their shopping lists. So you could build an app where users enter their dietary requirements as well as their goals, and the app will generate meal plan ideas for them. The users can then modify it and slightly tweak it, choose the meals that they like, meals that they don't like. And once they're done, the app will be able to go over these meals and generate them an entire grocery list for the week so that they can cook all these meals that are made in the app. The app would have to be powered by AI like ChatGPT to generate all of that. To monetize this app, you could have a freemium model where the users only get a certain amount of meals for free. And then if they want to unlock all of them, they'll have to pay. You can have affiliate links for some of the ingredients. And you could also upsell other services like professional nutritionist help, accountability coaches, or even in-person wellness retreats. To build this, I would use Flutterflow or DraftFit for building the mobile app or Bubble and WeWeb for building the web app. Next up, we've got Learning Path Quiz. It's never been as easy as today to get access to any information that you need and learning anything that you want. The information is out there for literally everything. Take, for example, the guy that figured out how to print his own money just by studying the official FBI website and other resources online. However, there's so much information available out there, we run into another problem. As you literally have an information overload, it's hard to decide on what path you should take and how you should approach learning a certain subject. That's why roadmaps for learning things are super important and why courses do so well because they structure information in a specific way they give you a roadmap without having to waste time second guessing and learning things that you may have not needed to learn in the first place so if you're an industry expert in any specific niche you can put together a learning path quiz what it is is basically a quiz where users will answer a series of questions about their goals about their previous experiences and their available resources and after they answer the questions they will get an individualized roadmap laid out for them on how to tackle whatever they're trying to learn the plan would include all of the resources that they will need as well as courses equipment coaches they can hire etc so literally everything they need to learn and become an expert will be laid out for them this idea could work well for any kind of tech skills like cybersecurity, data science or career development health yoga to monetize this app you could have a premium version that only provides the first few steps and if the users want to know the rest they'll have to pay a fee you could also make money from advertising so charging a fee to advertisers to promote their products on this roadmap you could also form partnerships and sponsorships and use that quiz to drive leads to certain businesses and lastly if you get established enough you could also charge for certifications and badges that users can show off on their resumes after they complete the entire roadmap this app would not be complicated to make so I would probably use something like Webflow so you can have a beautiful design, a beautiful UI to make the quiz like as fun as possible to fill out and make it like an experience rather than just answering some form. And for the backend functionality, you could use Wise and Xano. Next up, we've got Niche Dating App. So everyone has their own unique dating preferences. Using most popular apps can get absolutely daunting as you have to go through hundreds of people to get someone who matches your needs. A niche dating app could solve that problem completely. You could target a specific demographic like gym rats, pet lovers, eco-conscious people, carnivores, vegans, gamers. While this idea might sound a bit funny, there's definitely opportunity out there as there are apps like Farmers Only, which is just for farmers, JSwipe, which is just for Jewish singles, and Our Time, which is for singles over 50. And these apps are all up there and running. And to monetize this app, you could have a freemium model where most features are locked behind a paywall. You could have an app purchases, which for example, could be virtual gifts that people can send to each other on that app to get more attention. But to build this app, I would use Flutterflow or DraftBit. Next up, we've got Furniture Rental. This one is really niche, but it could have some potential. So this one could be a marketplace, specifically Furniture Rental. So maybe for those professionals who are moving into town for 6 months, 12 months, and they don't want to invest in their own furniture, but they want their apartment to be nicely decorated, they'd want to rent out the furniture, right? To monetize this app, you could charge a monthly fee for each unit rented, and to build it out, you could use an app like ShareTribe for something simple, or if you want to build something with more functionality, you can use WeWeb or Bubble. This one will be obviously a little bit difficult to start, as you would need furniture to rent in the first place. So to do that, you could actually form partnerships with furniture factories to have that furniture to rent in the first place. Next up, we've got AI Learning Companion. So one of the best things that AI is great for is providing feedback and helping you digest a lot of information quickly. You could build an app that uses AI-powered chatbots to provide personalized learning recommendations and support for students. To monetize this, you could have a freemium model, 
the basic functionality in the free model and then the premium model having the full power of AI. And to build this, you could use Bubble or WeWeb for the front end, Xana for the back end, and have an API integration with OpenAI for the AI functionality. Next up, we've got Disease Companion. This one could actually have a serious impact for people as you could make their lives a lot easier. So you could build an app that has all of the necessary information and resources for someone with a specific disease. So you have all the information on how to deal with certain symptoms, like the diet that they need to be on, maybe the exercise regimen, and as well as like a community that you can talk to. This would help the patients to have all the information that they need to manage their problem all in one place, as well as peer support from others. To monetize this, you could have a monthly subscription fee for the users directly or you could partner with hospitals so that the patients can use their insurance to cover the costs. To build this you can use DraftBit or Flutterflow for the front end and Firebase for the back end. An example would be kidney.app which is a platform that helps patients manage their kidney disease. It was built using Flutterflow and Firebase for the back end. Next up, we've got real estate investment platform. If you know a lot about investing and you have good connections in your town, the next idea that you can build is a real estate investment platform. So this will be a web app that centralizes all of the different investment opportunities in your locality. You can build out a directory where people can filter by property types, location, property size, price, etc. And each property page will provide all of the information necessary, the historical pricing, nearby things, basically as much information as possible to help the investors decide whether or not it's a good opportunity. To monetize this, you could charge a transaction fee for any purchases that go through the platform. You can have a subscription plan that unlocks certain metrics or data for the properties. You could charge a listing fee for the property owners. And you could also upsell property management as well as consulting services. To build this, I would use WeWeb or Bubble. Copes.land could be a good example that was built with no code. They're a marketplace specifically for land investments. And the tool was developed in just eight weeks with Bubble. Next up, we've got Family Finance Tracker. This idea could help many families avoid heated arguments and survive through the unstable economic times. As this app would allow everyone in the family to manage their finances collaboratively. So rather than people just tracking individually and then at the end sitting down and counting it all in a spreadsheet, this app would allow users to create a profile, link up with each person in the family unit and track their expenses all together with a dashboard overview. It's estimated that the personal finance space market will grow to $1.6 billion by 2028. So you could get a piece of that pie. To monetize this app, you could sell it at a one-time price or go to the freemium strategy once again. To build this app, I would use either DraftBit or Flutterflow for the phone content and Firebase for the backend. Next up, we've got private community platform. Nowadays, more and more people are looking to connect online. And one way people love to do so is by joining private communities, revolving their specific interests. So if you have a community around a specific niche, you could build a platform for a community revolving all around it. The platform would have chat capabilities so that members can connect together and share their thoughts. It has courses capabilities so the members can teach each other certain topics, as well as an event calendar to plan potential meetups or digital events. To monetize this, you could charge a one-time access fee to your community or a monthly subscription. You could also sell courses in the community or offer additional coaching or consulting services. To build this, you could use Mighty Networks, Better Mode, or if you want something completely custom, then you could do the Bubble or WeWeb. But Mighty Networks and Better Mode should be more than sufficient. Next up, we've got an improvement tracker. Nowadays, everyone is onto self-improvement and one of the most powerful things that you can do in your self-improvement journey is building better habits. So what you could do is build a self-improvement tracker, a tracker that will help users track most important metrics for them like meditation, mindfulness, screen time, steps walked, gym attendance, etc. To make it more interesting, you could add badge rewards as well as a level up system to make users wanting to keep tracking their habits and stick to them. You could also build an AI coach that analyzes your behavior patterns and helps you improve them. To monetize this, you could do either a one-off payment or a subscription fee. To build this, you could use DraftBit or Flutterflow with integration to ChatGPT for the AI coach. Next up, we've got all-in-one analytics dashboard. One of the most annoying things when running a business or multiple social media accounts is having to jump between 10 different softwares and all these different accounts to keep track of all your analytics. So what you can do is build an all-in-one analytics dashboard for specific use cases. For example, you could build one for YouTube channels where you can link multiple YouTube channels and see all the data in one place in a clean 
dashboard. I know many YouTubers that would happily pay for that. To monetize this, you could have a monthly subscription fee. To build this, I would use Bweb and Xano. Now, in the next video, I'm going to share with you 10 websites that you can use to come up with unlimited SaaS ideas all by yourself. That video will also help you research the ideas further to see what features you should build out as well as validate those ideas. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that one. I'll see you there.